Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mario, also known as Soul Style Beauty, and I'm so happy to be back with another Soul Flexion. So today we're going to be talking about lessons that I've learned in the year of 2020. 2020 was absolutely cray. I'm sure we all learned a lot. I'm sure we all grew. I'm sure that we all sat within ourselves and reflected because we simply had no choice so basically this video is going to be my reflection and talking about just six things that i actually learned i've been gone for two weeks not doing any soul flexions um and if you notice i put on my community tab i had a close relative in the hospital leading up to 2020 and then the last week of 2020 me and my husband jose actually traveled to cabo san lucas and it was absolutely amazing it was beautiful the resort was beautiful it was all inclusive the drinks were good the food was good um but yeah i definitely recommend it um to me we traveled safely we're covid free as of yesterday we took a test you know trying to be responsible and yeah i'll leave a few videos just to like show you guys some of it just in case you don't follow me on instagram but let's get into the lessons learned in 2020 and definitely leave yours down below because i want to all right so my very first lesson is we are not in control and i learned this the hard way because i am a person who likes to be in control of every detail trust me i love planning i am a natural born planner and just you guys know i'm dealing with, i dealt with not dealing but dealt with my wedding being canceled due to covid and i had to change up all my plans after we saved and it was just really disappointing to me and i think that it takes you know if you are married or a bride you would know exactly how that feels and it was really heartbreaking for me to go through that and not have you know things go as planned that taught me to make lemonade out of lemons basically and i had the most beautiful intimate ceremony and we were satisfied with that and we we're like okay like now we can travel we can take the money and put it towards debt we can like just do hit other goals like possibly to save for a home one day because that's definitely one of our family goals so i just think that this year if it didn't teach me anything it's just that change is inevitable and it will happen regardless so number two i would say that saving is everything i'm gonna say that again saving is everything um so you guys know that we were supposed to have this big wedding over 200 people didn't happen um but it actually helped us to learn how to save heavily heavily every single month and i'm like wow like now it feels so good when i can go on vacation and i don't have to put it on a credit card every single time we get paid i have a excel spreadsheet and we know exactly where our money is going and i think the two lessons that i've learned when it comes to money is one know where your money is going don't just have money come into your account and you balling out and it's like oh my gosh i only have a dollar or ten dollars left like no know where your money is going and give yourself a budget even for um discretionary income um number two act like you're broke even when you have money those two things would literally save your life when it comes to finances and it feels so good and so freeing when you're hitting your financial goals and it just makes me think more about my family and the bigger picture and i'm like i want to pay be able to pay for college i want to be able to have a home to pass down something to my kids and like do something that's different because there's no difference between you and the next person who owns a home um it might be a little bit more challenging as a pe person of color um due to systematic things however I feel like when you have the discipline practice and you have the knowledge, you can do so much. So. so the next thing that I learned is that people are just so complex, like more complex than we just see from a natural eye or the things that we think in our head. I've really been interested lately into just studying just people because we are complex beings. and. Um, one thing I would say in 2020 that I did was take a lot of things personal. And I'm like, you know, humans are people who go through their certain experiences. They can't see past their own experiences and pe we are beings that also project. Um, so sometimes because somebody is projecting that energy onto you, you're like, oh my gosh, is it me? What, did, what happened? Did I do something? And one thing I've been learning constantly is like if don't take it personal if it's not personal 
it's that simple it it makes life so complicated when you think that everything is so like about you or somebody's reaction is about you and I feel like it can kind of be like self-sabotaging self-sabotaging in a moment because if you take those um, reactions and you internalize those things it then affects how you show up and the goals that you have set in your mind and I'm like I have things to do I know that I have goals that I want to hit this year and I don't want anybody to affect that so I had to really learn that it's not my business like just plain and simple it's not my business unless you know you come with me with a problem other than that if I didn't hear anything that I'm like I'm not gonna take it personal right, so another lesson that I learned about myself in 2020 is that I self-sabotage a lot a lot and I feel like I don't know why because I get these opportunities and I know that God has me in this place or this space showing up as myself because that's who he has put me on this earth to be but I'm like I still have these moments where I'm like oh my god like why am I doing this is anybody listening and I think that is because I over I used to over depend on accolades of you know different people and I'm like I don't want to do that because either way, it doesn't matter who likes it or who doesn't like it. You know, people still watch even though they pretend not to watch. And, you know, people still are inspired even if they don't tell you. So I feel like you can't over depend on people to show you support, especially people who you know or who are close to you because you'll be disappointed every single time. Um, and yeah, so I just think that honestly, you have to go for it regardless of how it looks. And I'm just going to do everything in my power like I might even um start going to like therapy for self-sabotage because I'm like yo that is actually a big thing like you can do so much and I imagine if like all of us black people people of color actually started thinking more about themselves like we we can become so much more so another thing that I learned is to get out of my comfort zone everything is on the other side of your comfort zone so one thing that I'm super proud of myself about doing this year is to partner with Minted in a live session or Instagram live, whatever you want to call it, um, to launch their every night palette. And I actually did like a versus ballot, ballot, a versus <laughs> battle with another influencer. And I was like, uh, like I hate going live. I don't know, something about it just really creeps me out, but I plan on doing it much more uh, within 2020. But I, it it makes me cringe every time and I don't know why um, but basically I just feel like yo just do it but everybody's like oh my gosh you don't seem nervous you didn't seem, seem nervous and I'm like yeah you know and I just learned that like once you get out of your comfort zone things can start to happen for you so yeah so my very last lesson is to use the off switch okay do not disturb whatever you gotta do I just I'm a person that gets super overwhelmed by like text messages um, I don't know why or emails I have a lot in my inbox I'm embarrassed to actually share how much I have in text messages and also emails I don't know what it is like it just makes me super nervous like I get anxiety over it I just can't but like I'm an introvert and I like my own company after like a long day of work or if I feel stressed out um, and I'm still learning how to have that balance without shutting people off um, but sometimes it's absolutely necessary and one thing I've been learning is it's okay um, because when I do socially drain myself I regret it every time like every single time so I've been learning to do it without feeling bad or feeling guilt or shame about it like if I need a long time I need a long time because my mental state is over everything if I am not feeling good mentally then I cannot show up for anybody else so um yeah I've been doing more reading um and I want to definitely do more tv watching you know ratchet tv included <laughs> Just because it just helps me to slow down and it helps me to just like be present, you know, like I'm, I feel like sometimes on my phone or I'm working, like I love when I can slow down and just do things like read or watch TV and not have to worry about anything.
But thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I want to thank you guys for your support in 2020. There's more to come in 2021. Um, and I'm just looking forward to growing and thriving and being better with you guys along in this journey in 2021. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.